Hello guys, let's begin with the creation of the world. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. At first, there was nothing, neither earth nor sky, nor light, nor sound, nor any living thing. All was darkness and silence. And then the Spirit of God came into the emptiness to give it form and bring it life. On the first day, God let the world be light. And the first down of time brought into the world. God divided the light from the darkness. Let the light be called day, he said, and the darkness be called night. On the second day, God let the world be a sky as a roof over the road, and let it be called heaven. Then God made the sky and the rain clouds and placed them high above the waters of the deep. On the third day, God let the waters under the heaven be gathered together into one place, and let the dry land appear, so that now there were great stretches of dry land divided by vast expanses of deep water. God called the land earth, and the waters he called seas. Then God let the earth bring forth herbs and grass, and flowers and trees, each yielding seed of its own kind, so that the earth will never cease to yield. On the fourth day, God, God made the sun and the moon and the stars, and they shone down upon the earth. Of the two greatest lights, He made the sun to rule over the day and the moon to rule the night. God created great whales and tiny fishes and all the living things of the sea, and great hawks and tiny sparrows and all the birds of the air. Now there was life in the waters and the heavens. And the silence was gone from the world. God made the cattle and the creeping things and all the beasts li that live on the land. But as yet there was no being in the likeness of God. And God said, "Let us make man in our image, after our likeness, and let him have domination over the living things." So God created man in His own image,、uh, of Adam. But among them there was not another like Himself to be His true companion. And then God said, "It is not good that the man should be alone. I will make a help me for him." God caused Adam to fall into a deep sleep. And from Adam's rib, the Lord God made a woman. Now the first man have the had a, a wife, and Adam named her Eve and loved her deeply. God saw everything that he had made, and it was good. On the seventh day, God rested from his work.